up? It's Cinema Shogun here, and I, like many others, and some of you all, I am still trying to make sense out of this mystery that is surrounding Jamie Foxx's current health status. My main issue is that all of the information we're getting conflicts with the other information that we're getting. I understand you can say it's none of our business what's going on with Jamie's health and you maybe have a point there. But at the same time, this is a public figure and they're constantly putting new information out there about what's going on, but they're not telling us what actually happened to him. And it's like every day we're getting information that conflicts with the information that we got the day before. And my main issue is this information doesn't just conflict with each other. It's like totally on the opposite end of the spectrum. For instance, you have some news outlets, mainstream media outlets like MSN, which is, I am told, and if you look it up, it's supposed to be a reputable news source that has a very high score. MSN is reporting that Jamie Foxx is suffering from side effects from the jab and that these side effects caused him to go blind and paralyzed him. So that's like drastically different than what his family reported not too long ago. His family said that, oh, Jamie's okay. He's communicating with us. He even played pickleball yesterday. Now, pickleball is an interesting, odd choice. It's almost so odd that it makes you think that they specifically chose something odd to make it sound more believable. You know what I mean? Like, it seems so, like, random that you wouldn't think that someone would create a lie. Like, if they said, oh, Jamie's okay, he's playing the piano, or Jamie's okay, he's outside playing football or basketball, you wouldn't think about it as much, but pickleball, you're like, oh, that, that sounds believable, I guess. Who would make that up? But anyway, I don't think someone who is blind and paralyzed is going to be playing pickleball, right? And it's odd because the family, they were like, Jamie's home. He's been home for weeks. Stop with the rumors. He's communicating with us. And then the next day, the mainstream media was like, no, Jamie's actually in a rehab facility and, um, you know, going under treatments and all type of stuff. And, and it's like, wait, the family just said he's home. Now you're saying he's in a rehab facility. None of it is adding up. And I got to admit that the family statements and what they're saying, it is it's not giving me much confidence that we're getting the whole story or the truth at all because the the use the wording in their statements it, it sticks out to me because they're saying things like Jamie's communicating with us well what does that mean is Jamie Fox talking to you is he just moving his fingers a little bit to let to let you know that he acknowledges you're there does the dude have to write down on paper? Can he talk? What do you mean he's communicating with you? You know what I mean? So that's just one of the things that I can remember off the top of my head. If you go back and look at the statements, there's just interesting wording. Wording that I've seen before in situations, not necessarily like this one, but in situations where they don't want you to know the full extent of what is actually happening here. One thing that I think everyone needs to keep in mind, though, is that even if Jamie is suffering from the side effects of the jab and he went blind and paralyzed, that doesn't mean that he's still blind and paralyzed right now. It could have been a side effect that affected him, you know, for the first couple of days. Maybe it's something that went away over time. Or maybe Jamie will never be the same again. We don't know. You know what I mean? Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Jamie pops up in a couple of days and releases a statement. But the fact that he hasn't done so so far really makes me raise my eyebrows. 
I will go so far as to say that if Jamie doesn't make a statement and he just pops up in a week or two looking and acting as if he's totally okay, then I'll go so far as to say that they leaned into this for their own publicity because we're seeing, and I don't think Jamie's the type of person to do that at all, but we're seeing these weird things happen in Hollywood with these famous people. This definitely wouldn't be the first time someone used a health scare to, you know, garnish more interest, you know, in projects that they're working on and things like that. But I don't think Jamie's doing that. I do think there is a mystery surrounding what happened to him. And even if it's not something from the jab, I think just the thought of the possibility that it could be may be causing these people to try to cover this whole thing up. Because make no mistake about it, what, whatever is happening with Jamie, there is definitely um, some type of agenda to not let the information really get out there. Why is that? Is it just because Jamie wants to be super private about what's happening to him? Maybe, but I would think that if I... If I know that my name is out there and people are saying that I'm paralyzed and blind and this is happening to me and that's happening to me and people are running wild with these theories and I'm okay, I would just pop up and be like, hey guys, I'm okay. Can y'all chill the fuck out now? You know what I mean? But he's not doing that. So that leads me to believe that something's going on here. But Nick Cannon actually spoke out about the situation as well. Because Nick Cannon just replaced Jamie on one of his jobs. One of these shows. I forget the name of the show. We'll get into the name of the show in just a minute. But like I was saying earlier, you know, if Jamie's healthy enough to be out here playing pickleball, then you would think that possibly he would have gone back to work. I'm not saying that Jamie should go back to work right after this type of health scare. But, you know, there's people out here replacing him on his jobs they hired a body double to do the rest of the scenes for this Netflix movie he was making. And now Nick Cannon replaced him in one of these hosting jobs. So I, I think it's just further evidence that this is worse than what we are being told. And that there's something weird going on here. Whatever it is, I don't know. But let's go ahead and see what Nick Cannon has to say. Nick Cannon has provided an update on, Jane, on how Jamie Foxx is dealing with the health scare. Nick Cannon says, one thing that I've always respected about how Jamie's moved throughout his entire career, if you've noticed, he's always been somebody who is extremely professional and extremely private. He went on to say, I mean, you don't ever really hear anything other than just the great work that he puts forth as a professional. And the fact that, you know, He's handled this situation with the same manner. You can only have respect for that. I believe when he's ready, he's going to address the awaiting fans in the world about his health scare the way that only he can. Nick was then asked about what actually happened to Jamie. They asked Nick if he knew about what the health condition may be or what Jamie may have suffered from. Nick Cannon replied by saying, I'm probably in the same boat as you in that same sense of just knowing that, you know, as a friend, just being as respectful as I can, I don't pry. He then added, I don't ask any other questions and other than the information that's given to me and, you know, what's asked of me. So basically, he's saying that, I don't know. I respect Jamie for being private. He's a private person. Uh, I mean, Jamie's never been in a lot of headlines for doing toxic things, if you will. He hasn't been someone that someone would deem problematic, you know what I mean? But I wouldn't say he's necessarily that private, but at the end of the day, okay, whatever. But he basically says, even him, someone who's close to Jamie, who just took Jamie's job, He's like, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine about what happened to him. So either he's not telling the truth and he knows about the situation or he's in the same boat as us. Either way, I don't think this looks good. I mean, Mike Tyson just slipped up and said that dude suffered from a stroke. 
not too long ago. And if if Nick Cannon does indeed know, if he does know what happened to Jamie Foxx, and he's not saying it, then I think that would mean that this is probably pretty serious. Now, if, if Nick Cannon doesn't know what happened to Jamie Foxx, then I think that means this is pretty serious as well, because why wouldn't you know what happened to someone who you're kind of close to, someone whose job you just took over? You know what I mean? Like you were the replacement. You would think that he would have a little more inside information than anyone else. So regardless of how you look at it, I think this really looks like something weird is going on here. And, you know, I have no reason to promote anything, you know, any type of theories. You know, I, I don't have a dog in this fight. I'm just someone that hopes Jamie is okay. But at the end of the day, I mean, when you look at the situation, you can't help but feel like something eerie or something weird is going on here. And especially the timing of this knowing um, that Jamie was wrapped up in some stuff. He was supposed to testify in a court case. He also had, you know, recently revealed information that maybe he shouldn't have. So there's just a lot of stuff that's really weird right here. Also, because he had to take the jab for that movie role that he was doing. So like I said, all in all, it's just the timing that's really off. And the fact that everyone's being so secretive, that's what's causing people to freak out. And honestly, I think a lot of people are invested in finding out what happened to Jamie because a lot of them got the same jab and now they're wondering, hey, is this going to happen to me? You know, so a lot of people are on the edge of the seats or on the edge of their seats kind of scared like, wait, you know, and they're wanting to find out, hey, if Jamie had some type of side effects from something, we would like to know because we're putting this stuff in our bodies as well. So I think there are various reasons why everyone's interested in the story, and hopefully we find out something soon. But for now, let me know your thoughts down below while you're down there. Hit the thumbs up, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.